Hello and welcome everyone. This is Grant Bulwark with Skyrim Project Stability coming to you uh, with our first video guide. And the first thing that I think we're going to cover is merged patches and their creation through TES5 Edit. Again, this is merged patches, not bashed patches. If you are looking for a guide on bashed patches, there are several available out there. I do not use Wirebash myself. Now, as you can see here, when you open TES5 Edit, you will see your entire load order. Now, for the purposes of this guide, we are only going to be patching things that conflict. Things that conflict, uh, examples being Skyrim Monster Mod and Immersive Creatures. They both add creatures through the same level lists, so they will be uh, slightly incompatible in certain areas, but those incompatibilities can, of course, be worked out with a merged or bashed patch. Also, a good thing to know, uh, mods like the Bosmer Armor and Hoth Trooper 44's Armor Compilation and Immersive Weapons and other mods that add weapons through vanilla leveled lists are also going to have conflicts and will not work without a patch to uh, implement all of their changes rather than just the last one loaded. So we'll load those up as well. Now this will take a few moments. Now, in reality, I've already created the merged patch for these, so you'll have to excuse what I name it. But as you can see, drop-down list now displays everything that I selected, that being Skymo Mod, Skyrim Immersive Creatures, Bosmer Armor, uh, Immersive Armor, and Weapons. Now, once Background Loader finished displays right down here in the bottom right, we can begin creating a merged patch. Very simple process. Although it is rather time consuming. Ah, there we are. Background loader finished is displaying down here. Once that shows up, all you have to do is right click anywhere on the left side of the pane, and select Create Merged Patch. And in this case, we're just going to name it Example because it's not actually going to be used in my loader. Now, once you have example ESP lined up there, all you need to do is press X, make sure it's checked, back up plugins, and press OK. Now, the plugin is now going to display in your load order. And since it's a plugin that you've created, Boss is not going to know how to sort it. So rather than doing it that way, we're going to open our mod managers, in my case the Nexus mod manager, and we're going to drag it into its proper place, which is after the last mod that it patched. So in our case, that would be immersive weapons. It's the last thing loaded and to be patched. So we're going to place it directly after immersive weapons. And then we're going to check it in our loader. And it's as simple as that. 